Alright, so uh, I finished another set of custom Galactic Hero figures here. Uh, these two guys. Uh, oh, for any, of course, anyone who's paid attention to the channel knows all my videos have been taken down. I just, uh, I've got them set to private. I'm going to go through them, edit out old ones. and In general, I'm thinking about redoing the, the entire channel, what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I just have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> don't worry, it probably won't all just be like custom action figures, because that's one thing I don't need as another hobby. <laughs> um, okay. So these are the custom guys. Basically what I did is I took the uh, the new Pre-Vizsla Mandalorian Warrior, switched their arms, and turned them into the trainers from the Republic Commando uh, series. We have Cal Scarada and, oh, as I move them, Waylon Vow. Um, Vow, of course, has all black armor. Uh, so I did black and I did a charcoal gray. Uh, the other thing I did is... Uh, pre Vizsla has some pretty cool dark brown there on his chest, so I tried to reuse that where I could without without having to overpower it. So I have it like here on the side, on the back of the boots. Uh, I want to say I've got it in like another place. I think I've got it here on the, the little... Oh, help if I was aiming at it. Hope you can see it, the little rope there around to attach to his cape. I decided Scrotted definitely wouldn't be the type to have a cape, so if anyone was going to have a tape, I'd probably put it on a uh, on Val there. Uh, of course, Scarlet has got that kind of sand gold armor uh, with red. I actually based it off of, I don't know if you guys can see it, this picture here, which was on uh, DeviantArt somewhere. The one thing I didn't like, though, if it will show up, is the light gray here for the pants and the, the shirt, the undershirt. Um, and I know somebody else had done one with dark gray there, but I didn't like the, the color scheme on the helmet. They went with the same chest scheme, but the color scheme was different. So on my figure, I went with the dark gray underneath and then uh, I did the gold for the main part and then red for the around the T-visor uh, and then of course repainted the knife he's supposed to have a three-sided knife but I didn't have a way to carve that and I didn't want to put that much work into it uh, the one thing I wish I had kind of done with these guys is taken off the jetpacks they don't come off uh, this one I didn't even change the painting on it should be the same as the Mandalorian warrior uh, but I did go ahead and repaint uh, vows it had all kinds of stupid blue and red on it. And I was like, I'll just do black. And Oh, that was, that's where I kept the dark brown. Was I kept a lot of the dark brown on the rocket uh, where I could. Um, just because these two guys don't seem like the type of guys, their characters in the series, wouldn't be the type to have a rocket pack. But a lot of times with the Galactic Heroes, they form their stuff so the backpacks fit on, but they, you know, they have like big holes so they fit together and everything. Uh, and so I didn't want to have either a big guy, gaping hole in their back or be uh, or a big giant piece of plastic hanging off their back that I have to file off. So I just left them on there. Um, the other thing I'm working on is I'm trying to make a Barden Jusik, a Bardica character. I've got an extra uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi here. And so I've gone ahead and popped off the pieces and went ahead and repainted the head blonde, if it'll focus. Doesn't like that. Uh, and I'm going to repaint his eyes green and the, the lightsaber green. Of course, I'm going to miss the cool kind of see-through thing, but oh well. Uh, then the thing that I'm working on here is I'm trying to figure out how to redo his chest. Because uh, he's the one Jedi who's got the the Beskar Gam, the, uh, what is it, the Mandalorian armor. He's got green Mandalorian armor. So, I don't know. If, if I was willing to put the money down on it, I'd just go uh, get some putty on it, put it on, and then carve out that thing. But I don't know if I quite want to do that. I I don't know, I'm half tempted to try hot glue. See if there was a way I can mold it with hot glue. Um, <laughs> that's probably the, the dumb thing to do, but I'm not quite sure. I may just paint it green, uh, you know, the parts that are white, green and like a dark forest green to try to make it look Mandalorian, but I don't know. So I'm still working on it. I've got the head repainted, I'm not sure. And I kinda, kinda wanna get uh, a jewelry saw that I've got a little one and cut the arm and rotate it slightly because as it is, it's all stupid on this guy it only comes up to about here and he punches himself in the face because they have his arm at a very weird limited angle and I don't really like that so I'm tempted like how can I fix that on that but then again I don't want to fix it and have it in a way that I can't like re-glue it back together I don't know so that's what I got I don't know I think they look pretty sweet uh, aside from the paint quality which I think is okay I think the paint quality came out okay I think they look better than the original characters but of course I like these characters better so maybe it'd be all that alright so just wanted to share let me know what you guys think, if you want to share. No pressure.